I always love when you come to visit award-winning scientists, environmentalists, TV hosts, and right near, we're talking about something near and dear to your heart. I've experienced it as well. Many have right now at home. We're talking about Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. Why is this such an important thing for you to discuss and to bring awareness? Well, on? because uh, my mother died of Alzheimer's. I didn't think that she had it. I knew she had dementia. But she was always so even-tempered, and I thought you, with Alzheimer's, they changed their temperament. And uh, it was only after she died they did, a, they did an autopsy on her and, and found that indeed she did have Alzheimer's. There's a wave of Alzheimer's now coming as the population ages. We know there's going to be a huge uh, tide of, of uh, dementia coming. And so it's important that people think about this and how we're going to deal with it. Three quarter of a million Canadians right now suffering from Alzheimer's. Uh, there is no cure. Usually when do the symptoms start? I know with my grandfather it started in his 70s. Typically it could start as early as 65. Well there are different kinds. There's an early onset uh, Alzheimer's which really is you know can start in your 30s, mm. 30 to 40. But that's a genetic one and that's a very rare form. The other kind of dementia, yeah, it can set in. My mother was 74 when she died, and she must have had it for at least four or five years. So, what are some of the signs in doing your research? It's forgetting that word, or forgetting that memory, or forgetting. Well, you know, we all have that with old age. I keep if, different things. You know, I I keep forgetting names, particularly of people. What is it? And you sit there, and I suspect that that's a normal part of uh, getting older. Uh, words, words are the thing that. People find they, uh, you know, if I'm being interviewed and suddenly a word I always know and it's not right. there. And I don't know whether it's a sign that I'm going to develop it or not, but Alzheimer's. Her two brothers died of dementia and her sister. So all four of my mother's generation died of dementia. But you do hear things. I mean, do we know anything more as to the causes? You hear things like aluminum, whether you're cooking with pots or if it's in deodorant. Do you hear about ways to stave it off, like, you know, crossword puzzles? Yeah, I think that uh, as far as I'm concerned, exercise. Exercise of the mind, stay, keep your mind active, and exercise of the body. And it's amazing if you look at the impact of exercise. That's one of the most powerful ways of reducing the uh, the onset or threat of, of Alzheimer's. They our are bodies inextricably are made linked. To move. Yeah. yeah, you were saying but our bodies are made to move. We sit in the car. We we act against nature. We evolved out of nature. We we didn't evolve with cars or horses or anything. We just came down and we had to move and, and travel everywhere and get our own food and and uh, build our own shelters. I mean, the body needs to move to stay healthy. So uh, the gym where I work out, I tell the guy, you should be advertising not to get guys buff and all that. But this is medicine for old age, the best medicine you got. It's medicine. Yes. And it doesn't have to be anything super intense, just Not something where you're sweating, right? Absolutely. Get the heart pumping a bit and uh, get the muscles. Uh, I think walking is probably one of the best forms. And tell us, in your research, you were coming across uh, studies that show what it must be like for somebody suffering from Alzheimer's. Yes, this is a, a virtual dementia um, test or, where they... They put glasses on, special glasses on, and put inserts into the feet so that the uh, impulse from the, the feet is different. And then the sound, and you see my hand is in bandages so that you, uh, you don't feel. The whole idea is you're not sensing the world the same way. Mm -hmm. With my mother, I thought it was just that if she didn't understand, I thought, well, I have to either talk louder or talk more slowly, and she'll get it. But what this uh, this exercise showed was that no their senses are completely gibbled up now and so they're seeing wow. the world in a different way it was quite quite shocking to me that's fascinating that they were actually able to capture that because I know with my grandfather it's equally hard on the family oh. as it is on the person you love who is trying to cope with it because they don't really know or can make sense of what's exactly. happening like you said so that really helps people understand and perhaps be more compassionate in, you know, my father was a typical traditional Japanese male. You know, he was the guy that was out there and everybody talked to my dad. My mother was always the one behind, you know, helping things, but very quiet. And uh, when she began to show signs of, of Alzheimer's, I thought, oh, dad, you're going to need help to take care of her. To my amazement, my mother's dementia revealed a different size, side of my father. My father said, no, she's worked all her life for me. Now it's my turn to give back to oh, her. What a good man. But there were many nights when I would drop in and I'd find him sitting on the couch weeping 
weeping in frustration, not anger at my mother, but just no. the frustration of seeing his his partner kind of disappearing. Debilitate because yeah. you lose them, even though they're very much yeah. physically there. You lose. No, I've them been mentally. very excited to hear that in Norway there's a they integrate Alzheimer's into communities. Okay. They have programs to keep them active and involved. And I think this is what we have to start doing, is saying, as these people are, are beginning to, to fall into this dementia, is there a way of keeping them actively involved in the community? And as a community, we serve as pillars of strength for one another to help get through the tough times. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for shedding light on this. It's very important. DavidSuzuki.org. Make sure you see the nature of things untangling Alzheimer's. That'll air on November 14th, so that's uh, next Thursday. Thank you so much. And you're going to inspire me to actually go for a walk today. <laughs> we'll be back.